welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well so last week i actually did a tiktok live and in that live i made these trays oh my gosh i fell in love with them and they were inspired by these papers from the range another paper pack but in this video i want to do better i want to up my game and bring them to life let's go <laughs> So let's look at this paper pack. As you know, all week I've been doing videos inspired by these pads and oh my goodness, this one's called Let's Get Cozy. This is from the range again. This is 250 GCM and it's a 12 by 12 again, 24 sheets double sided, but look at these prints. They just gave me coffee chill vibes. I zoomed the camera out so you can see the whole pad here. And I think this pack in particular is very aimed at the journaling market. You know those paper journals that people put together? The talent there is unreal. I don't have that skill. But this one here, coffee. I've actually got one of them on my wall because everything comes as two sheets. So yeah, I ripped one out and put it on my wall. But particularly loving these abstract designs. These kind of blobs of colour all mixed into one with lines and leaves and yeah thoroughly inspired this video. These are the three pieces of paper that I'm inspired by. The only, the only jesmonite pigment that I'm using in this video is black. All of the other pigments used in this video are all mica powders. So if you don't have jesmonite pigments, you could honestly do this without. You can do this without. Just go for mica and it works a dream. Now in my TikTok live, I used my squeezy bottle and because when you're on a live, the pressure is real, I decided not to use this thin metal spout. But I really wanted to because the papers themselves have got some really thin black squiggly lines that you can see right here on the paper. Um, and I wanted to try and achieve thin, thin, thin lines. Here's the thing, Jesmonite is a 1 to 2.5 ratio and that is the ratio that I've got in the bottle. This means I have to work fast. So if I am shaking, if the lines are shaky, this is why, because I'm trying to squeeze quite a thick mixture out of a really thin nib. Um, this is the only, I would say the only downside to trying this kind of thing is that you have to work fast. You can see how much I am squeezing the bottle right now because you've got around five to eight minutes work time before the jesmonite is too thick and it will not, it will not come out of that spout. So my logic in this video with creating these trains, trains, trays, get the lines done. Get the lines done, get the outlines done because I want leaves. So I'm going to do that first. That is my absolute priority. And I'm gonna fill in later. So I'm gonna take off that tiny little nib and I'm gonna fill in later. And of course, if you have tried this, you will know you are time limited. So yeah, all of this was heart palpitation inducing, I promise. Okay, I'm going to speed this part up for you guys because watching this in real time really would be a slow process. This took around five, six minutes to pipe, fully pipe all of the designs and the outline really was my priority. Again, these leaves are fully inspired by the paper. It, it came with like a leaf pattern and you can see me kind of piping and then wiping the nib and then piping, wiping the nib because what's happening is the jesmonite is starting to cure inside the bottle and what I don't want is for it to cure inside the nib. That means I'll never be able to use this nib again. So honestly, it really is a case of working as fast as you can and getting as neat as possible results as you can whilst also accepting the fact that they might not be that neat. So here I am piping on the other tray. Now at this point, I can feel the resistance. I can feel the resistance in the piping nib 
and I it takes a couple of goes to go back and forth to get my leaves so yeah my I'm panicking internally my heart is pounding internally and I'm just talking to myself I talk to myself all the time I'm like come on Claire do it come on get it out get, get it piped get it piped quick 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 you, you're kind of running out of time come on come on so yeah I think I do it to myself I, I panic myself there's probably no need but yeah, I just added a few dots here and I was thinking that would be it. I'd add a few little black dots and just add a little bit of interest around the piece. But then I thought I've got enough time to go for one more leaf pattern and that is what I did. I'm getting ahead of myself on the voiceover. <laughs> Before I went for that final leaf pattern, I did take the metal nib off to reveal a much wider opening and this was going to allow me to fill in all of those leaves and all of that detail. And it's almost like icing a cookie. So once you've got your outline in, the jesmonite, if you go easy, of course, if you pour too much, it will flow over the edge. But if you just go really slowly, like I am doing here, even though this is slightly sped up, um, that outline creates a lip over which the jesmonite won't go. It won't go. It really is like icing a cookie. But Again, I was trying to act fast, but I'm loving them. I'm loving them so much. I'm really happy that these are very different to the ones that I created on my TikTok live, that I've kind of got a little bit more time to relax and, and, and do the detail that I really wanted, the thin line detail. So yeah, I was really, really happy at this point. Let me know in the comment section down below what you're thinking. What colour schemes would you go for? Because I definitely want to play around with this a little bit more using my piping tools. I'm really loving it. If you are here at this point, we are six minutes in. Please do hit that subscribe button. You will love it here and it will really help me out. But not only that, give the video a thumbs up. It's the thumbs up that allows YouTube to understand that my content is enjoyed and they will push my videos out. The more thumbs up I get, the more my videos get pushed out and this is what helps me grow. This is the point where I thought I've got one more leaf in me. I've got one more leaf design in me before it's too late for this bottle. It's too late for the Jesmonite. And yeah, you can see me really, really squeezing the life out of this bottle. So in real time, this is around five to six minutes. I have, again, sped it up a little bit for you. So if you do go on to try any of these designs, please do tag me on Instagram. Let me see what you've created. This is the point where the Jesmonite was not coming out of the bottle. So I had to try and fill the leaves using the wider nib and then use the metal tip to try and spread the jesmonite out but yeah this is when <laughs> this is when it was it was too late it was game over for the black so i ran into the bathroom into my bucket of water and i washed it out chocolate colored mica is next so again this is very much in line and inspired by the paper that you can see in the background i've mixed up my 1 to 2.5 ratio and I did put some thought into where I wanted the dark brown. I didn't want the dark brown over the black because I really was thinking they're too similar in shade. They're too dark next to each other. So I definitely made a conscious decision here. I know in my last video I said no rules, just ch chuck it all in. I do love a shove it all in video. But in this one I thought it was really important not to put the dark brown directly over the leaves because I really felt like we would lose the leaves we'd lose it um, so definitely depending on where your inspiration is coming from think about where your colors are going and what's going to be underneath therefore when you flip it out what is going to be visible um, and that's really the only conscious I would say the only conscious decision I made really was the dark brown I, I I just knew I didn't want it clashing with the black. And once I'd finished up with the dark brown, I then mixed up some more jesmonite and I went in with a much paler shade. You would have seen this shade in the last video and this was the beige. Because this paper pack was giving me all of the coffee vibes, the coffee, we all know I'm a tea drinker. I mean, it could work. It could work for tea. These could be tea leaves. <laughs> Um, I definitely wanted to stay true to the colours in the paper pack. Again, I don't know. 
I don't know where it sits on the fence of, you know, taking someone's design, but really there's there's no there's no way anyone could say I have copied that paper identically because my skills are not there. Um but to be inspired by a design is okay. Um shout out to whoever designed this paper. Um but it's definitely not copied identically you know so there's, there's no copyright here um but to be inspired is is such a nice feeling so I don't know about anyone else who's watching now but I've got such an obsession with stationery it's 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 not even like I'm a paper crafter because I'm really not I bought these paper packs truly with the intention of making belly bands for my own work and the beautiful thing here is that I can use this paper to create a belly band for the tray that the paper inspired and that's gonna be fun. I'm definitely gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try that out and cut the paper up and it's gonna work really well. Luckily, each pad comes with two of each design as well. Definitely, guys, honestly, if you've got me on Instagram, do definitely add me on Instagram and if you come across any paper packs that you feel might inspire me, please tag me. Tag me in all of the paper designs. <laughs> Not that I'm rich. I need to actually like win the lottery to be able to buy all of these paper packs. Again, this video is not sponsored. I bought them myself. Um, but let me know if you're watching from other countries what your stores are. So if you write in the comment section down below where you get your paper packs from. Is it Michaels? Is it Kmart? Is it Target? Is it Hobby Lobby? I mean, I don't know of any other art stores around the globe, mostly UK and America and Australia. So my ignorance there is real, so apologies in advance. But definitely, definitely let me know where you get your paper packs from. Soon as I open them, I am like transported, transported. So inspirational. So the last thing for me to do with these really is to try and make those blobs rounded. So when I did my TikTok live, I just poured the Jesmonite on and allowed, allowed whatever happened to happen. Um, Looking back at the trays, I'd like these to be quite rounded and not so misshaped. So that's really the last thing I did was spend a little bit of time. The very last colour that I'm adding is the chocolate and champagne. Minimal. So a really small amount of the chocolate and more of the champagne to give me this absolutely stunning, like a taupe, I want to say beigey, mm, taupey colour. Um yeah there might be a better way to describe the color but to me this looks like a taupe and this is the final color that i am adding to the trays i don't really see this color in the paper pad but again it's another shade it's another dimension that i can add through the inspiration that i've got from the papers so i'm just speeding this next bit up for you because again watching this in real time i can imagine that i've lost half of you already but it's just a case of working out where to put your colors with no real rules don't put too much pressure on yourself don't don't give yourself too many rules on where to put it it was just gaps find a gap put it in <laughs> now that was a close-up the background color on these is going to be white in my tiktok live i actually mixed the jesmonite i didn't add any color i just poured natural jesmonite in and it did give a lovely calming creamy color which would work with the coffee vibe um but this paper is very white. The background of this paper is very white. So I added my 2% white jesmonite pigment into the background. Again, it would have worked without. It would have worked without pigment, but I really wanted to try. I wanted to try that white background just to see what the difference would be between these and the ones that I did in my TikTok live. Okay. All I have to do now is tap these very, very gently. We do not want to tap too much because all of that jesmonite that I've already poured in has kind of cured and you don't want to dislodge it. So this is 30 minutes later and it is time to demold and oh my goodness. I'm sure you'll see my hand gestures here. <laughs> as soon as I turned it over, I was like, what is gorgeous? Gorgeous before I've even demolded means I'm gonna be absolutely buzzing over the moon chuffed with these results oh my gosh I cannot tell you how happy I was with these results it screamed it screamed at me chilled 
coffee, almost autumn, but the paper, it matched the paper to, it, it couldn't have got any closer unless I did the white dots. Again, I forgot the white dots. I'm going to have to do another one. I'm going to have to do another one and add those white dots. But is it a little bit wibbly wobbly? Yes. I mean, that metal nib, trying to get a straight line using it was a bit tricky because it's such a thick substance to try and squeeze out of such a teeny tiny nib. Um, so yeah, I didn't get the straight lines that I desired, but I definitely got the detail. I got the thinner lines, the real, oh, I can't even think of the word. Guys, you need to help my vocabulary. Um, yeah, thinner detail is what I was going, finer. Oh, there's the word. Finer lines and finer detail by creating using that metal nib. Compared to my TikTok live where the lines were quite chunky and fat, I really wanted to try and get this thinner, finer detail. And oh my gosh, I love them so much. And now I just want to go look through all of my paper packs, but equally, <laughs> I don't want to have to go and buy more. Let me know what you think, if I've matched it well. And it's really only now that I'm noticing the leaves on the paper packs are different shades of brown. Whereas I've gone straight in with black. It just goes to show I didn't pay that much attention. Having said that, would I have gone for different shades of brown? Probably not, because you just don't have the luxury of that time with Jesmonite. So I'm really happy that I went in with black and it's worked out well. And I think it just matches, they match. Let me know your thoughts if you've stayed this long. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you do get notified of all future videos. As it stands, I think I have upped my game. I think I've definitely brought them up a level compared to this in the TikTok live. Let me know what you think and let me know what colours you would go with. Ignore the papers. What colours would you go with if you were to create this yourself without the paper for inspiration? I'm already thinking blues and browns, but I know I've done that colour scheme. So, oh my gosh, I love them. I love them. I appreciate you all so much. If you've stayed this long, we are nearly 17 minutes in. Please do not forget to hit that like button. It really helps my channel grow. And yeah, I appreciate you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.